Hello everybody, it's your man Leonidas aka Mr. Homebrew. Now I wanted to speak to you guys in regards to running the PlayStation 1 emulator on your Nintendo Switch. Yes, this is done through Homebrew, not Laka. Again, this is done through Homebrew using the Retro NX emulator. Now you'll want to go to Load Core. And you're going to want to launch and load the pcsxnall.nro file. Now, once you do that, go to load content where you got all your games. I'm going to go down to Final Fantasy IX. It's a nice classic game. Very good game for its time. Nice graphics. All that good stuff. I'm going to wait a brief moment. And it should launch up for us here. Yes, we do have audio. So we're going to load into the game real quick. I'm going to load a state. Save states are working. Frame rate is nice. Now, if you haven't played Final Fantasy IX, I advise you take the time to play this game. It's a great game. It's a fun game. For sure, one to add to your collection. This man's lost in the city like he doesn't belong. Now, close content. I'm going to load up one more game before we get into what we're going to do. PSX. Tony Hawk's Pro Skater 4. Give it a brief moment to load up. And as you can see, it is working. What's he going to do? Pick his nose, why not? That's funny. So as you can see, Tony Hawk's Pro Skater is able to launch nicely. No complaints. Frame rates are nice. Again, this is on the Retro NX emulator. This is done on Homebrew or through Homebrew on your Nintendo Switch. Now, you're going to want to take the time to hold that power button. And turn off your Nintendo Switch. Wait for it to turn off. Give it a brief moment. Remove that micro SD card. Take your micro SD card and insert it into your computer. I'm going to use this micro SD to USB dongle I got here. I'm going to plug it into my computer as you hear there. Now, I'm going to go into the root of my micro SD card. Now, you're also going to want to open up and I'm going to include a download link to the Retro NX zip file. You're gonna open that up, and within it, you're gonna find a Retro NX, and in brackets, LibRetro for Switch. You're gonna open that up within the zip file. Now, you're gonna drag and drop the Retro Arc folder onto your micro SD card, and that's gonna be in the root of your micro SD card. You're gonna drop it, you're gonna be good to go. I'm not going to drop it in now because I already have mine over there. As you can see right now, I've already dragged and dropped mine over. Now, you're going to go into the Switch folder on your micro SD card. And you're going to also go into the Switch folder within the Retro NX zip file on your computer. You're going to drag and drop the RetroArc Switch.nro file into the switch folder on your micro SD card. Then you're going to launch it. Once you insert it into your Nintendo Switch and you'll be good to go. So once you've done that, everything's in order. You're going to take the time to eject your micro SD card properly. The emulator is not perfect. It's still being worked on actively. 
So there may be a couple of games that don't run exactly how you want it, but it is running nicely. The audio is working. Insert your micro SD card back into your Nintendo Switch. Now, you're going to want to put your Nintendo Switch into RCM mode. I'm going to use the jig I have here. As you can see, I'm going to use this jig I got mocked up. I'm going to use that and slide it into the right Joy-Con slot of my Nintendo Switch. Make sure it's slid in there nice. I'm going to hold that volume up button and then that power button at the same time for three seconds. Then let go. If it's still off and hasn't powered on, no Nintendo logo or anything, you should be in RCM mode. You should be good to go. Now on your computer, you're going to want to launch Tigra RCM GUI. You're going to want to specify your payload, the heatctcaer file.bim file. And then you're going to plug your Nintendo Switch using a USB-C to USB cable into your computer. It's recognized RCM OK right there on Tigra RCM GUI. I'm going to send that payload. The payload has sent. I can unplug it from my computer, no problem. Should be good to go. The switch has powered on. I should be able to go into homebrew. Launch up the emulator, Retro NX. Now I should be able to go to load core. And that's where I'll load up PCSX. So I'm going to go to load core. I'm going to load up PCSX underscore and all dot NRO. Then I'm going to go to load content, start directory. Then I'm going to launch up a game real quickly. Crash Bandicoot Warp. So all goes good. The game launches up. You will need to make sure you have your BIOS files located and situated properly. I will make sure I include where that needs to be in the description for you guys along with the download link for all of this. Now, one thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to go into your options after you've launched a game. And you're going to want to turn... Enable dithering off. And you're going to also want to. There's a couple of other steps. Oh, frame dumping. You want to have frame dumping disabled also. So frame dumping disabled. I have dithering disabled. And then when you go all the way back and then go into settings video. I also have threaded video on and VSync. Some people recommend to turn that off after you've launched, launched the emulator itself. It's all about preference, I guess, and how your performance is in the game. With most of that set up, especially when you have the game running, go into options, make sure frame dumping, is disabled and for me I have enabled dithering disabled to manly Unitas, aka mr. homebrew I hope you enjoy all the best I'm here to help you guys some good retro gaming a lot of hard work and time goes into this I'd like to thank all the developers testers and contributors who have taken the time and put in the effort to get everything to the point it is now so quickly on the Nintendo Switch. I hope you guys enjoy. I'm going to probably relax, take it easy. It's been a long day. We had almost a two hour live stream earlier. If you want to be a part of our live streams, hit that notification icon, that bell. You know what to do. Peace. Have fun and stay safe.